Dear students, I am Ahmed Noman Sadek. Today I would like to draw a very important topographical route in which one road would be considered as a closed road. Dear students, this question would be the nearest approach to the real exam question and you could get a similar question in the exam with slightly different start and end points. Now, my advice to all students is that always read the question first and very carefully. And the question is always written on the left side of the screen like this. So this is the question which is very clearly written on the left side of the screen. And usually there is one road closure question which you could easily recognize. Actually, there is always a note of road closure like this. And you could find the name of closed road here. Now let's start drawing this route. So first of all, you need to press this start drawing button. And when you press this start drawing button, the same button will become stop drawing button and its color will also be changed. Now I will press this button like this. Now the same button has become stop drawing button and its color has also been changed. And when you finish your route, please press this stop drawing button. Otherwise your route might not be saved. And this instruction is also written on the question as well. This question on this question this is the instruction number four and it says repeat until the route is complete and click at stop drawing to finish. Also, there are some other buttons like undo button, clear button, brightness button and home button about which I have a full video. You could watch that video and learn how to use these buttons. Now let's start. So here we go. This is our topographical interactive screen. This is our start drawing marker which is always green. And this is our end marker which is always red. Or you could say it as stop marker. Dear students, never start with the red marker and end with the green marker. Otherwise, you could get zero marks even if you have drawn your route accurately. Now we have recognized our start and end marker. But as we know, it is a road closure question. So first we need to find where the closed road is. And remember, TFL will never show you the closed route or closed road. TFL will only tell you in the question that this road is closed and you should consider that road as a closed road and then you yourself need to find and locate where that closed road is and this closed road uh, this closed road is always between the most direct route between start and end marker now let's find the closed road first and it should be between start and end marker. Otherwise, there is no point of road closure. Now, we know the name of closed road, which is Osborne. So, we will try to zoom in from start to end marker and try to find out the closed road, which is not actually closed on the map, but it should be considered as a closed road. So this is Osborne. So Osborne is written here. So you should consider this road as a closed road. You would not be able to go through this road and also you would not be able to pass through this road. Also, if this N Osborne, the N of Osborne is written here. So this portion of White Chapel Road will also you would not be able to use this portion of White Chapel Road as well. Now I am going to draw the actual route between 
start and end marker that is from green to red marker considering this road as a closed road actually i have already planned my most direct route between start and end marker and there might be some different options to go from start to end point you could follow this path or you could go from this route so either you consider good way you could follow in that case there might be a difference of distance a few streets always remember if there is a difference of only one or two small street to reach at the end marker as compared to the most direct route you will not lose any mark but you would definitely lose huge marks if you make blunder and follow very long route while the smallest route was possible now i will start from here i am zooming in now i will start from the tip of this green marker and i will keep myself towards the left hand side of the road like this and now i am going in upward direction and i know that my end point is here and i would not be allowed allowed to use this osborne street so i will go through this road and then i will follow this a 11 road and on white chapel but i will not go ahead i will go from this street and then i will follow this street and ultimately i will reach at this point now let's continue from here so i will always advise you to zoom in while drawing your route like this now again i will draw my route i will start again from this point and always try to draw your route at the bottom of these words so actually this is a symmetrical principle so your route will be symmetrical in that case so i'm going to continue my route like this so like this i'm going from here i will turn left and this is one way i can't go here but i will go from here and follow this street and now always remember this is one way but nothing is stopping you to go ahead this is one way in this direction but you could definitely go in this direction so i am zooming in and going in upward direction like this so from here you can see that there is a roundabout here when you are approaching towards the roundabout always remember that you should zoom in and when you reach here always show tfl that you have seen this roundabout by drawing a little bit curve here even if it is one exit now i will move the screen downwards and then i will continue drawing my route now the thing is i could go from here and reach at this point i could go from here as well so preferably i will i would like to go in this direction from here i will go like this here here but always remember your route should not touch any building so go like this go like this when you go here properly go in this direction and ultimately you would be able to see your end point and then you would be able to reach here but do like this now we have drawn our route so this is our route and always remember that you you should check your route at the end of drawing your route so that you could check your errors especially the left hand side and right hand side direction you can see that we have not entered or we have not crossed the osborne street but remember this was not the only way to reach at the end point you could follow the other way you could go from here 
and then from here you could go like this and ultimately you could go from here and reach at this point but remember here it is one way so you could not be able you would not be able to come from this side to this side so when you are here you could go like this and ultimately you could reach at this point yes you could follow and you could come from this direction as well but here there is a very critical point always remember that this is not a roundabout so never consider it as a roundabout so if you are coming suppose you are coming from this direction so there is no need to come and consider it as a roundabout you could simply go like this you could go like this okay and if you are coming from this direction and if you want to go in this direction you could easily go like this and similarly if you are coming from this direction and also if you are coming from this direction don't worry about this this is a congestion charge zone you can keep in the middle or you can keep on the left hand side of the road even if the road is one sided that is if the road is one way so you could go like this if you are coming from this direction but if you are coming from this direction and if you are interested to go towards the south you can simply go like this so never consider it as a roundabout so this was an additional thing i was interested to let you know about it but i am going to delete this additional line these additional line like this now we have finished drawing our route and don't forget to press stop drawing button at the end and then you could go to the next question now as you see that our route is complete now i am going to press this stop drawing button so when i press this button the same button will become now start drawing button like this now i have pressed this button and the same button now has become start drawing button again now if you want to review the question at the end or you want to edit the question at the end you could press again the start drawing button and follow the same instructions again and that's the end of today's lecture thanks a lot and good luck